We are back. Welcome to the 2016-17 Repechage. 16 lists and guides will attempt to earn one of the two wildcard spots into the finals of the Battle of the Hockey Pool Guides. Here's a quick recap of our current finalists. Fantasy Alarm and Number Fire have established themselves as the frontrunners. Hockey the Magazine, Dauber Hockey, and La Pool earned their way in with a sizable amount of victories. NESPN has found themselves fortunate to eke themselves into a wildcard position. There are two availabilities through the repechage because Fantasy Alarm was so dominating in their semifinal event that no other guide earned a victory, and it wouldn't be right to include a non-win guide in the finals. Here's how the repechage entrants stacked up against each other. Despite being more of a long-term keepers list, Dauber's Monthly 300 is included because we needed longer lists and did not want to resort to using last year's rankings or the three-year averages. Similarly, Scoresheet Sports was included for the first time, although we suspected it wouldn't perform very well, but nonetheless, we felt that they should get a shot at it. If you are observant, you would have noticed that there are actually 18 guides displayed, but only 16 spots in the repechage. The first order was to exclude CBS because they already went up against Fantasy Alarm twice and showed no signs of being able to win. The second guide to be removed was Puck Me Please, and it was because their list was too short. With 180 player predictions, they barely were able to squeak out drafts that were more than 30 rounds in the qualifier and semis, but in the first round of the repechage, they failed to draft 30 players, and thus we had to exclude them from the competition. If only they had a few more player predictions. The first repechage qualifier saw Le Droit Le Soleil be victorious over 158,000 times. The NHL rumor report came in second with almost 45,000 wins. McKean's hockey and NHL trade rumors earned enough to make it into the repechage finals. Speaking of which, I had a list of 300 players from NHL trade rumors. That's with an S at the end and a list from NHL Trade Rumor without the S at the end, which only predicted 150 players. To be clear, this list belonged to NHL Trade Rumors with the S. These numbers were generally not surprising since we already have seen how some of the guides performed through the main event. The second qualifier found Dauber's Monthly 300 in first and Scott Cullen in second. Joining them in the repechage finals were the Hockey News, and Dom Luchizens. The one thing to note in these set of stats is that things got tighter as there were more draft rounds, which was opposite to the other qualifier. And the two guys to be given a second chance were Le Droit Le Soleil and McKean's Hockey. They were so close. Le Droit Le Soleil snatched the top spot by only 58 more wins. Not that it mattered in this case, because there were two spots to be claimed, but under normal circumstances, it would have been tough for McKean's to swallow. The two of them were fighting for every inch that they could get, not being able to afford a single bad round. These are your finalists for the 2016-17 Battle of the Hockey Pool Guides. Who do you think will win? We'll find out in our next video. Before we sign off, here are the victory results by drafting position for the three repechage events. There's only a slight increase in the chance of victory for the first three picks. Please consider liking the videos and subscribing to this channel. You can also look at my blog postings by going to www.hockeypoolguideaid.blogspot.com. Until next time, stay safe.